How's it going reef keepers? Just making a quick video on power head placement in a reef tank because I've seen a lot of people just on other videos asking questions about power head placement. So I struggled with power head placement for a long time in this hobby, but once I got a fairly large reef tank, this is an 80 gallon reef tank, I experimented with several different kinds of power head placement and I figured out that you know, when it comes to putting wave makers on the tank, the best call for a mixed reef, which I understand most of us have, is to create a lot of flow, but have most of it be indirect flow. And by that, I mean, you don't have a power head like placed here, blowing directly into a coral and just smashing it all day. Corals don't like to be smashed, even like Acropora, doesn't like to have a power head right next to it, just crushing it at maximum speed all day long. Um, that is going to cause weird growth. It's going to cause closed polyps. It's going to ca cause irritation. So what I did, what I eventually settled on for this reef tank was disregard this power head. This is emergency. It, that's why it points at the surface. It's got battery backup on it. Um, I have a Nero 5 here on one side of my overflow. Then if I come around the side, I've got another Nero 5, a little bit lower on the other end. Sorry, it won't focus. Then I've got one Nero 7, like a primary pump, so to speak, pretty high in the tank on the far end away from the overflow, okay? Some people will have the style of tank that is, you've got basically a traditional style with a black wall in the back and your overflow right in the middle on the back. This is a peninsula tank, right? So I, I have some opportunity to put things on the sides of the overflow box and sort of hide them, but that doesn't really matter. Overall, you need to have a lot of flow, but indirect. And that's why this power head is up pretty high in the tank so that it can blow across the surface. So part of it's the water column it generates that goes laterally across the tank is gonna be whipping at these corals on top which are SPS hard corals they like more flow but it's still not angled down at them smashing them directly with flow right similarly these power heads on the sides right my two Nero fives they shoot down the tank across the coral laterally but not firing directly into corals Again, not blasting any of the coral. And where the power heads, uh, the streams of water combine around the center of the tank, you're gonna get a ton of turbulence in the water. And that's why you, when you see coral being pushed this way, that way, all over the place, right? If this is your polyp and it's, and it's waving in all directions and getting, getting roughed up in all directions, that means that you've achieved the kind of flow you want. You want all of this indirect turbulent flow like there would be on a real reef, right? Um, what you don't want is the polyps starting to close because they're getting roughed up too much. Corals like to be roughed up a little bit. They don't like to be roughed up all day long, every single day and all night, right? They can't handle that kind of beating. So you need to have, you need to then dial in your flow or dial down your flow to a point where they're still getting a lot of movement, but they're not getting so much movement that they start to withdraw from, you know, being overstimulated from it. So um, that I would say, as far as power head and placement goes, is the end result that you're looking for. You're looking for your coral moving in different directions throughout the day, you know, every minute in, in the scope of 60 seconds, your coral should be getting hit from different angles and, and moving itself all around in different ways, but not to a, a point of intensity that they're starting to close up, okay? Um, so yeah, indirect flow and, and intensity that is not causing them to close up, I have found that to be the key for my tank to all the corals f coming out fully every day and, you know, looking beautiful and, and, you know, be just, just succeeding and growing. So hopefully that helps people with their coral placement. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, please like, and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Thanks guys.